Hi! So many of you guys know me as a recovery YouTuber. Um, even though I don't have a big channel, that's kind of where I started because that's what I was desperate to be okay with. And part of my recovery was using YouTube to get inspired by people who have done this in the past. When I was having a bad day, I would come to YouTube, I would watch videos that were either informative or what I eat in a day. I've tried to kind of veer away from that unsuccessfully because of my new computer breakage and this is what I still talk about but I just wanted to address that a little bit more and maybe forewarn people who follow what I eat in a day videos specifically I don't think it's exactly harmful to listen to videos about theories about anorexia or restrictive eating disorders or binge eating disorders but I just don't think that it is necessarily helpful to watch what I eat in a day videos. Maybe it is. I, it has helped me in the past, but I, not let necessarily is it helpful, but is it accurate? And I feel that sometimes we put a filter on recovery to make it look the way that it is. Even in real life, when I was having extreme hunger and I gained the weight, I would tell people, yeah, gaining weight, I'm getting bigger, but I know that it'll slow down, my eating pattern will slow down and I'll lose weight. And that's exactly what happened. And people were like, wow, it's really cool to see that actually happen in real life. Like, this is exactly what you said would happen. And it happened. And I was like, yeah, isn't that neat? But then in my mind, it was like, after I redistributed and I lost some weight, it was interesting because I felt so much pressure to keep this image up. Um, keep the promise that I made that I would lose weight and that I would stick. And so even though my appetite didn't increase, it would be terrifying that it could possibly increase. So on days where I was feeling more hungry, it was harder for me to respond to those cues. It same thing kind of goes with YouTube. Um, I want to be a good inspiration. I want people to look at me and think I want to recover and I want it to be similar to hers. Not necessarily how it looks, but just to go forward in it. I don't wanna be a reason why you don't want to recover, you know? So I didn't want to give a negative result. And I think that's common with a lot of people who do recovery on YouTube. They wanna show a good result. They want to show my life is better because I recovered and yours would be too, because it will be. But I think a lot of people are scared if they gain weight or if they show an unfavorable what I eat in a day, people will judge them because people tend to, I mean, the eating disorder community can be very particular with food and also people with eating disorders in the past, I mean, I don't really like showing what I eat in a day. It's like another thing that makes me think about it. Like when I was filming those videos, I don't think any of them are public right now, but when I was filming those videos, yes, I would have the initial intuition of this is what I want to eat, but then I would also have the filter of, well, this is what people are going to see me eat. So I just wanted to say that I would be careful with recovery channels and not for the information. I think the information is great. I think that information on the Minnesota starvation study is great. I think the whole concept of, you know, uh, mini mod and going, eating enough, talking about what it's like to lose their period, talking about men who have eating disorders, talking about all these important, this important information that people don't already know is fantastic and people should be informed on it. I just think that maybe possibly modeling your recovery off of somebody else's or using somebody as a statue of what recovery should look like isn't helpful. I mean, I don't look like a lot of recovery YouTubers. I feel like a lot of people started recovery when they were severely, at least the bigger ones, the big recovery YouTubers started recovery when they were really small, like TLC special, really small. And then they end up recovery in a very in fashion body type. 
and I'm not bashing my own body, but it, I, it's not going to be on the cover of Vogue anytime soon, you know? <laughs> um, so, yeah, I just wanted to say that, and I think that a lot of people also develop habits when they eat, and I'm not, I'm not insinuating anything at this, but some, a lot of recovery vi videos I've seen turn vegan, which it could be totally, like, that could be totally their reason, but you don't have to go vegan if that doesn't serve your eating disorder recovery, you know? I hope this made sense. Again, I love recovery. Uh, it changed my life for the better. It saved my life. I'm convinced of it. But I don't think that recovery YouTube is always a safe space and always an accurate one and always pure. I think that there's insecurities that come through the camera to you guys that make the actual recovery look different from what it is. I don't know if this is helpful, but this has been on my mind and I wanted to say it. Uh, and that's why you'll never see a what I eat in a day video, hopefully. Uh, I don't think I'll ever do that, or at least try to say that this is entirely a comprehensive list of all that I eat in a day, because I don't want to do that. Um, that's everything. I still have not gotten my computer back to edit. It's taking a long time. Uh, finals week are approaching, so... <sighs> big movement in my life. I'm going to move to Tennessee for the summer and that'll be exciting. Uh, can I talk about one thing? This rash on my chin. I wear masks every day for school because we're in a hospital um, doing our studies and I just have this rash because I have eczema and it just goes away. And the only thing that goes up, makes it go away is cortisone cream, which then thins your skin so you can't watch, use it all the time. It's really frustrating, and I just wanted to share that with you. I'm working with a doctor to get it better, but I just wanted to point that out if you noticed it throughout my videos. All right, I will see you guys next week, and I'll talk to you later. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was... I hope it resonated with some of you. Did it resonate with you? Because I feel like people talk about recovery and, like, they're out of it, and I think for the most part they are, but I still think that there's some pressure to put on an appearance of you won't gain weight back because they don't I mean that's a fear when you enter in recovery and you're gonna have perfect eating habits which I have my bad days I still have my bad days and I think that that's okay all right I'll talk to you later bye